Hi, my name is Colin Gallagher, and I'm here to teach you how to hustle pool in virtual reality. Haptics is a technology concerned with relaying forces from a virtual or teleoperated world to a human user by way of a device. The building blocks of all haptic systems can be partitioned into three components, the human user, the haptic device, and the environmental display. We've been working extensively with MATLAB and Simulink to develop haptic simulations for the analysis of our research. We initially started out producing isolated contact simulations for virtual and teleoperated environments. We kept discovering new tools and techniques available through MATLAB and Simulink software that let our ideas culminate in a full-fledged haptic billiard demonstration. Humans are incredibly perceptive to slight variations in forces. User perception of contact is very sensitive to the sampling time that a simulation updates at. This is analogous to how we can perceive a screen changing at rates lower than around 60 Hz to be choppy, but above that to be smooth. If the simulation is run at too slow a sampling time, the haptic system can become unstable. To achieve this level of fidelity, we needed to make our Simulink model communicate with our device as close to real-time as possible. We use Windows Real-Time Target to generate code for our Simulink model to ensure that our code approximates a real-time system. We developed S-Function blocks to communicate via the firmware on our haptic robot by assembling the required data structures and passing them via UDP packet outputs. We then receive and deconstruct the return packets to determine the required states of the haptic robot. For the billiard demonstration, the device states are then used in the kinematic model to update the position and orientation of the device handle to correspond to a virtual billiard stick. This billiard stick interacts with the objects in the virtual environment through contact models. The contact models represent the physics of the system. In this demonstration, we developed a physics engine within the MATLAB and Simulink environment to test different dynamic models for the rendering of contacts between the virtual billiard balls, walls, and cue respectively. Static and dynamic friction are also modeled for all the contact events. These physical representations require various parameters which can all be tuned through the model properties dialog which are made available throughout the model. We aim to make the billiard game modular by allowing the input of block objects that inherit the physical characteristics of the class but allow for parameters specific to the instance to be modified. The contact events between the billiard stick and the virtual objects can then be processed and filtered to be relayed back to the device by the communication blocks discussed earlier. Finally, to allow the user to experience the virtual environment beyond touch, we developed a virtual world within the scope of Simulink 3D animation. We developed a billiard environment complete with table, balls, and stick, which the user can interact with in real time to play a game of virtual pool. For the dynamic analysis of the device, we developed a GUI to test how the device feels in different locations and orientations, as well as how it is impacted by mechanical device design modifications. We use this tool to select an operational region and orientation that reduces unwanted dynamic effects, such as coupling and poor dynamic or kinematic conditioning. We then use the region outside of the selected operation region to navigate the device during a haptic simulation. By moving the device beyond the specified region boundary, we can translate the virtual scene in that direction while providing force feedback clues to the user about the speed at which they are translating and or rotating. And now you have the background so we can check the demonstration in action. We can navigate around the scene by moving the device outside of the transparent cylinder depicted on screen. On the right, you can see forces and torques that are being output to the robot as the user navigates the scene or contacts a virtual object. As contacts are detected, the magnitude of the forces are calculated and are output as sound objects depending on the triggered events. And the triggered events can be a sinking of a ball, a ball-to-ball -ball collision, or a ball-to-cue collision. Altogether, this work provides a truly unique and innovative way to research and experience haptic feedback in a fun and immersive setting. Built top-down with the powerful tools of MathWorks, MATLAB, and Simulink. We hope you enjoyed our work and are impressed with what we were able to do with your software. Thank you.